I was born in, in Caracas, uh, the capital of Venezuela. Very different uh, lifestyle than you would have in a, in a small town like, like, like Tulsa. My dad had worked in Baker Hughes for 30 something years. At the time, him and his, his boss were touring the University of, of Tulsa. When I was uh, starting to look at careers, and then my dad said, well, you know, this program here is very well renowned, opens a lot of opportunities, and we were familiar with the oil industry already. My favorite part about petroleum engineering was there is a, like an abstract challenge to imagine how things are downhole. And it was one of the drivers to why I wanted to continue in the, in the career. I was looking for a new job after the 2016 downturn. My interview was initially for a, an, an engineering tech position. I remember sitting down chatting with her and then she had to go somewhere else. I was like, that was either a really good sign or a really bad sign. And then as I was driving back, I got a call offering me the, the position. I started like two days later. So my first job was data collecting for our internal dashboards. I did uh, seven hitches. To mid 2017, I did a uh, performance engineer support for the, the Rockies. I did that for a, a couple of years and then I jumped into the process excellence role, which was more about support with major initiatives. And then I started my current role as a maintenance engineer in spring of 2022. I have been here for six years, but I can also count how many kids I've had since I've been in HMP, you know which is four of them. I have had four, four kids. It's a reciprocating relationship of building your life and building your career. You don't always have to have so many compromises when you are in a, in a culture like HMP. 